Yeah. Sure. Um, moving along. Uh, yeah, one. So let me say a few more things then, and then finish with these slides. This you know about. Yeah. So how did we go about uh, working with women and designing and implementing? I think this slide is self-explanatory and all of you I'm sure do this kind of thing in your daily work. Lots of workshops, consultations, trial and error. In the early days we had a very useful survey done by the National uh, Council of Applied Economic Research based in New Delhi. I remember Professor Anil Gumbar. So what are the kinds of products that are required and how much are women uh, willing to pay for them? Yeah, this is just giving you a quick idea of the products that were developed over the years. You'll notice they're not only health insurance. We have wage loss or income loss, which uh, some of you saw yesterday. It's our own mutual product, which we call Saral Suraksha Yojana, at 350 rupees per annum for the family, and 200 rupees per day up to 15 days wage loss is covered. And it's an add-on to RSPY because when RSPY came into the microinsurance space, we thought, now time to reinvent ourselves. Um, and as you can see, there's profit sharing. I think one of the important points is that these products have been bundled, meaning in combo. Some people may only want health insurance. Some people will want health, life, accident, so on and so forth. So just to give you a flavor, of the kind of products. Yeah, some of you saw this yesterday, basically working as a de facto insurance company, doing all the processes except for carrying the risk. Um, of course, in one mutual product, we carry the risk. So this is um, our door to door. I'm not going to read out all the points. Thank you. So you can see at every stage, uh, you know, uh, step by step, we are involved. Next, quickly, this is what we look like today. As I said, we're taking care of both life and non-life, as it's called. Non-life is obviously health insurance, and accident usually is in insurance parlance dumped into non-life. And as I said, we have 12,000 women shareholders who are from Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, mainly northern Rajasthan, Jodhpur, Bikane, Jaipur, um, and Delhi. Yeah. So that's sort of who we are at the present time, very quickly. So what has happened? This is the last three years, but I have given you also, because we just calculated all the figures for 25 years. Um, I think the most important point that I'd like to share, because we are all into financial services, is that this is a viable model. Let me be honest, it took us 20 years of struggle to get there, but for the last, since 2013, four years, we have been financially viable, which means that we don't take any money at all from outside. It's purely self-financing. And you can see in the last 25 years, a modest amount of money uh, by way of claims, not a huge amount, but anyway, 20 crore rupees has gone straight into the hands of women. I should say women only are the shareholders and the policy holders. And through the women, the entire family, if she wants, is covered. Yeah. Um, RSBY actually took a lot of the ideas of Bimo Seva. And finally, as we shared yesterday with some of you, we had a chance to depose before the parliamentary committee of the Rajya Sabha, but we're still waiting for action. Um, you know, they liked what they heard, but so what? We want action right on the ground. So that's another, I think that's it for now. Yeah. So just very quickly then, what are some of the challenges? Um, the biggest challenge was that our sisters had no idea about insurance. Even middle class people don't have idea, educated people, on how insurance works. So we had to teach them the concept of insurance, which is very different from savings and credit. Don't forget, Vimo Seva, Seva Insurance was born in Seva Bank. 
So they had the idea of savings and credit in their heads and we had to say no, insurance is a completely different concept. You are paying for some event that may or may not happen in the future and thereby uh, it's a tool for risk mitigation. You're securing your own life. We have to educate ourselves also. Speaking personally, I'm a public health worker. I'm not an insurance professional, but we learned on the job. Um, the second challenge was educating the insurance companies. Because insurance companies still date and continue to mainly serve the middle class and better off in our country, as you all know. So they had no idea what type of products. When we told them the first product that we'd like to offer is 50 rupees per annum for life insurance, they were in a state of shock. They couldn't imagine such a tiny product. So that's what micro insurance is all about. Also operational issues. They told us we can't deal with all these Gujarati bills and chitties and this and that. You take care of all that. Also things like snake bite, which are rural sisters. They, they, they said, how can snake bite be included? How can maternity be included? I mean, everyone has babies. How is that a risk, etc., etc. So a lot of education there. Uh, developing the products was a challenge because they would develop products which our people uh, could not afford. Fourth, creating systems. I've already mentioned some of the operational details because they inhabit a different kind of world uh, from our world as we all know. Um, one of the big challenges was developing software because no software existed. We're talking about the early 90s when no one had really as Mukti said, even thought about micro-insurance. So we had to create our own software, which is a bit of a patchwork quilt, honestly, at the moment. We need to improve it further. Um, lots of servicing issues. The insurance companies would take one month, two months, three months to pay, claim, pay, pay out claims. And as you know, all of us who work in the field, we have to face the music. We have to face our members. So those kinds of issues came up. I think, honestly, scaling up has been a real challenge for us. I'm not sure entirely why that is. You could ask the question why after 25 years only one lakh in shorts. And there are many reasons and we seem to struggle with scaling up. I think the main reason is getting people to understand insurance. We have to invest for five years just having repeated meetings about what is insurance. And now, finally, Mukti, the big challenge for us is the regulations. We've decided to scale up as a full-fledged insurer. There are no special regulations for micro-insurance, which means that for a license, and we have, a, have to have a license under IRDA rules, we need minimum 100 crore uh, capital for a license. And obviously, that's a huge issue. How did we overcome very quickly? Obviously, as I mentioned, we spent years educating our sisters, Seva sisters on insurance, what is insurance, how is it different from savings and credit, etc. I've already mentioned that we had difficulties with developing the product, so what we did was we sat like this with the companies and with our sisters, Seva sisters, and had a dialogue and developed the products together. We made lots of mistakes, there were lots of uh, false starts and problems. One of the big difficulties we faced or mistakes you could say was with asset insurance which is still required but in areas where there's regular flood, people who live on the river bank and all, you know, it's really not uh, possible to provide insurance because um, you'll be in huge losses. Um, kept innovating and evolving learning as we went along, hire insurance professionals to address the issue of viability of the products. And finally, lots